What's up guys, it's The Real Deal, back with another Rachel on video and today I am going to be talking you through how I get 350k points for CVC as an end game free to play player. So first off we're going to talk about resources, resources are the most important thing, you need to save everything you can for CVC um, and I just want to say I don't go ham every single CVC, uh, non-personal I get about 250k without trying, if it's personal rewards then I'm all in and I'm aiming for at least 350k. Um, so we want to be saving resources. So let's talk about resources first. And a really good one is uh, Fragment Summons. So I've been holding on to Gerda and Yekul for at least six months, probably even longer than that, to be honest. And, you know, Yekul Void will probably give you about 30k and Gerda will give me about 15k. That is a huge amount of points. And saying that, you don't even need to pull Fragment Champions to hit 350k. I don't do it often. I only do it if I need. I usually keep it as like an ace up my sleeve. And if the other team's beating me, last minute, I'll start pulling Champions. So next up, we've got the Forge. The Forge is one of my favourite places for getting points for CVC. Um, if we look at Resilience, you know, I've got a thousand pieces that I can forge. That is a huge amount of points for CVC. And that is a shed ton of silver as well. Um, so yeah, I will be definitely doing that next CVC. And then a good way to double up the amount of points you can get is using rank charms and rarity charms. Definitely use them together. And that will almost double the amount of points that you can get when you're forging gear. But you do only want to use it on certain types of gear. So I like to use it on perception, which is great for PvE and PvP. Um... Guardian, which is great for PvE. Fortitude, great for PvE and PvE. Lethal, one of the best sets for PvP, especially for nukers. Uh, Instinct, it's, it is a good set, but I'd say it's only if you're really a spender, because if you're free to play, you don't get any pieces, and it's going to be hard to get um, four pieces together that are decent. Uh, Bolster, there's a bit more slack to it, so definitely a great set for PvE. Um, and Defiant is great for PvE, so definitely worth investing in that as well. And as we're talking about gear, um, basically a really good place to get loads of points is Glyphs. Um, this is something I completely forgot about the other day. So 5-star and 6-star Glyphs, you should be using those only during CVC. Um, so Speed Glyphs for your Arbiters, um, you know attack percentage def uh, defense percentage and hp percentage on your nukers depending if they're attack defense or hp um and then also you can put speed glyphs on them as well to bump up their speed um and then resistance on like you know support champions hp defense um and then you like debuffers or champions that throw out debuffs um getting accuracy on them as well so you want to be saving all your glyphs for cvc as well um, also, of course, if there's an artifact event, make sure you don't level any of your gear up till CVC starts because that's going to give you a huge amount of points. And even if there isn't an artifact event going on, you know, say there's like four or five pieces that are really tasty, that's going to probably cost you between five to ten mil. If you've got the resources, it's probably worth leveling them up just for an extra couple of points. So let's talk about um, champions. So if there's a champion event going on, of course we are going to be going hard. We are going to be six starring the champions that we really want. But the other thing is Ascension. So actually, let's have a look at the tavern instead. I only ascend champions during CVC. It does give a decent amount of points and it will help you reach your that 350k so you've got ultimate death knight here i've got long beard definitely be whacking some stars on them and then of course i'm sure everyone knows it but books and legendary books give i think at the moment it's 3,000 points um per book and that is huge um definitely save those for the champions you really want to book up 
And the best place to get these from, of course, is Clan Boss. Um, so I do Ultra Nightmare all the way down to Hard every single day. Um, as you can see, I've got loads of epic books. Um, and I don't really have any epic champions I need to book out. So it is kind of difficult for me. But, you know, if I need to get some more points, I will just start booking any sort of champion. Preferably one that I'm going to use or might want to use. If not, then like this Madame, I will, you know, that's not really going to benefit her. She doesn't need books in her A1. However, I need points for CVC, so I might as well. So another obvious one is um, Faction Wars. This, you know, of course, you're going to be doing Stage 21, and that's also going to give us more points. Um, one of the best places to get points is Tag Arena. I'm sure it's no secret. Um, I will definitely be spending gems, so I will, um, the day before, I will pull my tokens at the end of the day so I can use them the next day just for that extra boost, and then I will use gems, and it's actually better to use 40 gems in Tag Arena than it is in a dungeon. You will get way more points farming Tag Arena. Um, the only problem is, you ideally, you need to be sort of silver four or at least in gold one be getting as many points from a uh, tag arena that's where you get the best points from um classic arena also is a great place to be farming as well and that will also help bump up your points every little counts um so we've done arena and um, i don't know if live arena is going to help with points i'm hoping it does um, and i think it depends. If Live Arena is not that popular, then Playroom probably will force players to do it by making them do it during CVC. Then it's Dungeons. So um, most people will farm Spider and they will just farm and farm and farm. This is maybe a bit of an unpopular opinion, but you need probably at least a thousand gems for um, personal CVC. And that's what I will usually spend on a personal CVC. So I will be sort of the week before I will start to slack a little bit and try and save as many gems as I can. Um, but you don't have to do spider. I will usually, the way that I normally do it is if there's a, say a dragon tournament on, then I'll probably be doing dragon and say, um, usually how CVC works is there's two bonuses and it will be maybe potion keeps. It could be minotaur or it could be say fire knight or whatever it could be one of the dungeons that um and that will basically give you double points and you get usually i think you get 40k for one of them and 40k for the other a hundred percent do both of them because that is going to give you 80k points for one of them and then 80k points for the other that's 160k points that is going to help you massively reach that 350k target so clan boss obviously the higher you go the more points you get However, one thing that really annoys me, and I see loads of people do this in my clan, is we do Ultra Nightmare to hard every single day. And then I will see people spend gems on normal and easy. And that's 100 gems wasted for a key on clan boss. And you get such small amount of points for easy and normal. You're better off pumping those into tag or dungeon. You will get so many more points for doing that. And that is it, guys. So I know that everyone may not be able to hit 350k because you need to be able to do Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss and you need to be doing tag at least in silver, very top end of silver or in gold. But outside of that, there are still loads of things you can do to really bump up your points. And I hope this has helped some of you guys. If you guys have got any tricks or tips or if I missed something, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.